All right. <clears throat> Hello. Um, yeah, just another quick video for you guys. I've got like ugh, three or four videos I need to edit now. I've been making videos on the weekend and then editing during the week, so not a lot of time considering I have things that I have to do at night as well. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to make this quick, um, just so I've got something to upload here. I got something new in the mail today because I blew up my old one. I literally blew it up trying to show a friend the new technology. So let's just see what we have here. Unboxing! Oh look, a transistor tester or ESR meter. Uh, yeah, these are really wicked, really handy. Uh, I use one of these all the time when it comes to uh, troubleshooting electronics. There we go. I'm a little kid, let me open this. Oh, there is some English on here. For a second there I thought, well, I'm going to have to learn Mandarin if I want to know how to use this, but I already know how to use it, so... Um, yes. Okay, now, the beautiful thing about this little bad boy right here is it actually has a capacitor discharger, which is handy because, um, the last one died because I was careless with a capacitor on it. So what do we got here? You're probably thinking, what the hell is that? Not many people have seen these. Um, ESR meters are really handy for doing, uh, electronics and doing in-circuit testing and whatnot. Uh, here's a little diode right here. Diode. Let's jam that in there. You can also put SMDs on this, so if you've got like a surface mount device you want to solder on to test, you can do that right here. Um, so let's, uh, this will actually map what a device is, tell you what it is and its ratings and that. That's basically how it works. So you plug your device into this thing, or you can use probes off a standard multimeter, and they will tell you what the device is, and if it matches up with what you think it is, or what it says on its label, then chances are it works. If it doesn't, well, it's probably screwed. So, here we go. Let me do this. There, now you can actually see it. Isn't that cool? There we go. Put the go back in the picture. I don't know, this is a running joke in case any of you catch on that uh, there's a billy goat in the picture. I'm doing this for a, a <clears throat> specific group of people just to uh, for a laugh. Kind of a running gag to see if anybody catches on. Alright, so let's take this FET and plug it in here. Not Boba FET. There we go. All right, what do we got here? Testing. It shows you all the interesting details about said device. The internal layout, um, voltage, blah, 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 whatever. So, yeah, I know what these ones are because I bought them for a power supply that I'm fixing for a friend. Um, let's plug in a LED and see what happens. All right. Might do something interesting. Oh, it's blink. Ooh, cool. Looks like I figured out all the internals of that LED. Yep. Cool. And, uh, let's see. Uh, I thought I had another capacitor around here somewhere to show you guys. Not sure where it went. Oh, there it is. So now this time, I've learned my lesson because I can be a bit of an idiot. Um, well, anybody who knows me personally knows that that is not a lie. So this guy here, I can take my capacitor. There we go. And I can touch it right here on the resistor and kill it. And actually, let's do something slightly different now. Because <clears throat> this has these beautiful test probes. You can plug them in anywhere. It's got three because it's ultimately designed for transistors and whatnot. Okay, so now, let's do this. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so, uh, let's see. How can I do this now? Uh, I should have used probes with clippies on the end. There we go. I don't even have the polarity rate on these probes, by the way, but I guess it doesn't really matter. See, there you go. 2961 microfarad, and this says 3300 microfarad add on, on it. 16 volt. Cool. So there you go. If you do electronics repairs or break things all the time and try to fix them on your own, then uh, you may want to invest in one of these. And actually, you know what? Let's do one last little experiment on here. Doopy doopy doo. I'm going to grab a set of... Banana connectors. Let us let's plug in my light bulb and see what happens. All right, here we go. We'll go across the 24 volt, um, just for shits and giggles. There we go. Yes, I'm plugging this thing in just to see if it detects that it's a. Will it say it's a resistor? Will it say it's a light bulb? I really don't know. Let's see what it says. How smart are you? I'm betting resistor. Yes, it is picking it up as a resistor. And actually, I wonder, if I plug it into the 12 volt, will it pick up the diode too? Hmm, let's see. That'll be interesting. 
Yeah, it's just picking up the diode. That's it. Okay, cool. So there you go, folks. Just a little, another little filler video just to tide you over. My brand new ESR meter. I think I paid 40 bucks for it, which is the same that I paid for the last one. This is a newer product because the previous one was like a kit build that somebody cobbled together and threw a cell phone battery in and carelessly soldered to make work. So this is a new, nicer looking one that's uh, a little bit cleaner package and just better. It's just better product. And what do we have on here? Typical ESR value of electrolytic capacitors. Yeah, cool. We're all in the back here. Yeah, it's pretty handy. All right, there you go. Have a good night. Bye.